Hello, this is Dave from Blue Sky PPG, and today we're going to talk about the tow bridle and how it hooks up. The most commonly asked questions regarding the tow bridle is how all of the loops and everything come together. So you have two halves to the tow bridle. You have the ripcord half that has the, the orange ripcord, and then you have the non-supporting side. This just goes to the other side of the riser, nothing crazy. So the easiest way to hook this up is you're going to take the main loop here, you're going to rotate the main loop up and over the top of this secondary loop. Once you've rotated up and over, it's going to look just like that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this bottom big loop, and you're going to insert it through the uh, supporting, supporting bridle so that it looks like this from the side. And then finally, you're going to take this the uh, main loop, the smaller one, you're going to insert it through the bottom, up through the top, through the O-ring, and it's going to look just like this from the side. It has to be done this exact process. If you do it any other way, the tow system will lock in on itself and you won't be able to release. So the very last thing is you take the top loop right here and you run your rip cord right through the top. Some tow bridles use a variety of different types of rip cord pins. They'll use skydiving pins, they'll use uh, uh, clevis pins. I've seen a number of them. I prefer the cable, so the cable gives me a lot of play to work with. And uh, since there's not a whole lot of pressure on this one spot, the cable doesn't have to be uh, uh, very substantial. So this is where you'd hook in for towing purposes. You'd hook your carabiner in right there. And when you pull the release, as it slides out, you'll see that the rip cord would pop out and then the whole system falls apart. So, and basically completely releasing you from the uh, tow rope. So the th second thing that everybody asks about is how to hook up this end right here to the carabiner and the riser. So you'll notice when you look at the square loop on the back that it's got a lower area right here. So what we do is we take our riser and our riser inserts into the square just like so. And you can see that it still leaves the hole right there and then you take your carabiner and your carabiner inserts through just like so. So back in the day, they used to hook up the uh, tow bridles over here off to the side and it would cause side loading of the carabiner, which can be very dangerous. So with our system, you can see the towing, towing bridle set up just like that. Just forward of it, there is a single loop. The single loop is so that you can tie a uh, piece of paraglider cord from here up to the speed system so that you can engage the speed system and it'll help you basically change the angle of attack so you don't have to worry about uh, stalls uh, nearly as much. This is something that you need a certified tow operator to help you uh, hook up. So keep in mind if you're using it without a certified tow operator, you're doing it at your own risk. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at 530-308-3523 or you can email me at dave at bluesky ppg.com. I usually respond within uh, 12 hours. Thanks very much. Have a great day.